when you are not, then everything is fine. When you, the illusion of yourself, is not anymore in the picture, then welcome to spontaneous being, spontaneous existence, unending joy, undiminishable peace. You are again the immortal being. You see? You will see somehow this is just a play of consciousness through the mind. It's okay. Leave it alone. Let it play. Let your mind be your friend. Let it play. To enjoy without desire, oh, exquisite. But to enjoy and you want to keep, then it's not so sweet. Very painful. Desire seems to be a creative thing. Like okay. it seems, it seems to be the creative force uh, of of making a lot of things happen in life. Yes. So you're you're kind of saying something against desire, but also against personal desire. Yes, you're right. Life is desire, actually. Identify as consciousness and let it be the desire of consciousness. Don't let it be the desire of a person. Personal desires, it will wreck you. If it's personal, yeah. If you're gonna desire, live, be, want, create. Identify yourself as consciousness, really in the in the heart of it, and then do what you want. But really, the person is a very small portion of consciousness. Find it through this door called I am. The feeling I am in you is natural feeling, natural state. Identify with this feeling, I am, is not personal. It is the eyes through which the world is seen. Don't make it personal, and everything is fine. But for one, you will find, as it becomes increasingly clear for you, that I cannot be that. What is desiring what and for what reason? Even enlightenment, even. Let's put the five star desire, even. Uh, for what? Who wants it? And for what purpose? What benefit? Look into it deeply. Just one question, and it will reveal something already, something for you. The one who knows is already content. If desires happen, they don't think a big deal about it. It's okay. It's not so significant whether it happens or doesn't happen. It's insignificant. It's just a play of the mind. It's enjoyed or not enjoyed. It's not significant. This is the important thing. What will you desire when you are content? I want to ask you. What will you long for, aspire for, yearn for when you are supremely content? One saint was asked, What do you want? And his answer came, Whatever God gives. Whatever life brings, it's enough for me. 
even and either want it nor not want it, it can be there. Enjoyment may happen, uh, not enjoyment may happen, doesn't matter for me. I don't mind. And then like this you can dance to your heart's satisfaction. <laughs>